I've searched many years on end. There was none that my soul could depend. My soul cries out. For your presence in here, this very hour. For your presence in here, in His name I find, in His name I find, in His name I. For our call to worship, open your Bible to Psalms chapter 40, verses 1 to 5. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on the rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in Him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done. The things you planned for us, none can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, there would be too many to declare. Lift up 
Let us pray. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for your goodness and faithfulness to us, to our school and administrators for the past year. Thank you for another year. Father, grant us peace, strength, wisdom, and blessings of good health. Guide us always, Lord, as we face this another year. Please protect us from any harm. Be our strength, Lord. Pour out your love, peace, and grace to all of us. We ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
sa inyo mga bata, magandang umaga. Sa araw na ito ay may bago naman tayong mensahe na mapapakinggan. Handa na ba kayo? Kung ganon, ihanda ang inyong mga tenga, ang inyong mga mata sa pakikinig. Huwag mo nang kumain or huwag mo nang kung ano ang galawin dyan sa inyong mga table. Gusto niyong isuroksan na makikinig kayo ng mabuti at iintindihin ang ating kwento sa araw na ito. Okay ba yan? Game! Gusto ko muna kayong tanungin mga bata, sino ba si Jesus para sa inyo? Who is Jesus? Pwede niyo bang dugtungin or pwede niyo bang dugtungan yung, yung salita doon sa iba ba? At na nakalagay, Jesus is my blank. Sige nga, sa inyong sariling uh, mga uh, pwesto dyan sa inyong uh, bahay, dugtungan niyo nga, sabi niya, Jesus is my blank. Ako, Jesus is my friend. Kayo nga? Okay, good. Meron tayong iba't ibang paraan kung paano natin i-define kung sino si Jesus sa buhay natin. Pwedeng Jesus is our healer, Jesus is our friend, or Jesus is my best friend, or uh, Jesus is my father. Iba-iba ang ating pwede maging definition tungkol kay Jesus. Pero sa araw na ito, gusto kong makita natin paano ba na, dapat natin muna tingnan si Jesus bilang mga salt and light ng mundong ito. 
Paano nga ba? We are the salt and light of the world. Diba? Yun ang tema ng ating buong school year sa uh, buong taon na ito. At, ibig sabihin ng pagiging salt at pagiging light, kailangan magkakaroon ka ng epekto or impact sa ibang mga tao. Palagay nyo, sa inyong sariling kaparaanan, paano ba kayo nagkakaroon ng impact o um, effect sa ibang tao, sa inyong mga klase, sa inyong mga kaibigan, o maging sa mga tao dyan sa inyong bahay? Palagay nyo ba nagagawa nyo maging good influence sa inyong mga kapatid or sa inyong mga kalaro? Isipin nga natin. Yan. Ang pagiging salt and light of the world ay parang pagiging si Jesus. Ang ating pinaka-best example ay si Jesus. Kaya, uh, nais ko munang panoorin natin ang video na ito para makita natin ano ba yung mga bagay na dapat nating tularan sa mga ginawa ni Jesus nung siya ay nandito pa sa mundo. Sige nga, panoorin muna natin ang video na ito. God's Story, Jesus So part of God's story is about His Son named Jesus and some of the things Jesus liked to do. It goes like this. You might have already heard some stories about Jesus. Some stories are really famous, like how Jesus was born at Christmas, or how he died on a cross and then came back to life on Easter. You also might have heard that Jesus taught big crowds or made sick people feel better. He did do all those things, but that's not all there is to know about Jesus. He also did a lot of normal stuff, like help his mom with chores, play with his brothers and sisters, maybe even pick his nose. The Bible never actually says Jesus picked his nose, but it does say he was just like you and me. Anyway, one normal thing we know Jesus liked for sure was playing with his friends. Do you like to play with friends? You probably have friends who like to play different things. Maybe some of your friends like to play video games, some go swimming or to the playground, some like to chase around fake aliens with lasers. The really fun thing about friends is being together, no matter what you're playing. Well, Jesus spent a lot of time with friends doing different sorts of things. He would go over to their houses a lot just to hang out and usually eat some food. They sometimes went fishing or rode on a boat. Jesus had 12 best friends. They were called his disciples. A disciple is anyone who follows Jesus. We can be disciples too, if we decide to follow him. And the really cool thing is, Jesus wants to be friends with us and everybody. And we know that because he was always making new friends. He even made friends with people nobody else liked because Jesus likes everyone. When Jesus wasn't with his friends, he might have been doing a normal thing like resting, just like how you might take a nap or play alone in your bedroom. This one day, Jesus was so tired that he took a nap on a boat and he didn't even wake up when a huge storm came. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night because you heard thunder and lightning? Well, imagine how scary it would be if your whole bed was jumping up and down too. Not you jumping up and down on your bed, the bed jumping up and down on the floor. That's what it felt like for Jesus in that boat. But he was so tired, he was sleeping right through it. Jesus knew God was with him, so he could sleep even during a storm. And he knew it's important to rest when you're tired. Sometimes Jesus rested by going somewhere by himself so he could talk to God. One place he really liked going was into a garden. Picture sitting under a big tree in the shade or climbing up your favorite tree. We don't know if Jesus liked climbing trees, but we do know Jesus liked to be alone to pray and that sometimes he prayed outside. You also might not have known that Jesus loved going to parties. Think about the parties you've been to. Birthday parties, roller skating parties, Christmas parties. You're not the only one there, right? Usually lots of people go because parties are a way for us to celebrate something really cool with people we care about. Jesus loved doing that too. One time Jesus went to a wedding with his family and friends in a town called Cana, but right in the middle of the reception, the wine ran out. There was only water left. Jesus saved the day by turning that water into wine. It was his first miracle. A miracle is when something happens that humans can't do by themselves. God has to help them. When Jesus did this miracle, the people at the party were able to keep right on having a good time. Jesus showed us that he cares about celebrating special things. Jesus played with his friends, rested, or celebrated many times in the Bible. We just don't talk about those things as often because they're regular activities that regular people like you and me do all the time. Now even though Jesus was the Son of God and able to heal sick people and tell amazing stories to huge crowds, He was also a lot like us. And that's the story of some things Jesus liked to do. Mula dun sa mga uh, 
pinakita dun sa video na pinanood natin mga bata, makikita natin doon kung paano namuhay si Jesus nung nandito pa siya kasama natin sa mundo. ba? Diba? Ipinakita doon kung paano siya nagpagaling, nagturo, nagsermon or nagpreach at paano niya minahal ang mga tao. Ibig sabihin pala nito ang mga bata, ibinigay ng Diyos si Jesus para maging best example para sa atin. So then, God gave Jesus to be our example. At kapag example ka, ibig sabihin model ka, ikaw yung gagayahin ng mga tao. Parang teacher, di ba? Yung mga teacher natin, sinasabi nila na dapat ganito, dapat ganyan, huwag ganito, huwag ganyan. At kung ano yung nakikita natin sa kanila, ginagaya natin kasi our teacher is our best example. Ganun din si Jesus, mga bata. Jesus is our teacher and our best example. Ano-ano ba yung mga bagay na dapat natin tandaan, na dapat natin gayahin pagdating sa uh, pamumuhay, kagaya ng ginawa ni Jesus. Bibigyan ko lamang kayo ng tatlong bagay na dapat ninyong tandaan. Okay? Makinig ng mabuti. Number one, Jesus teaches us to be kind. Maging mabuti o maging mabait sa ibang tao. Magka- magkaroon tayo ng compassion na makita natin na maari natin uh, tulungan ng ibang tao kung meron tayong kakainan. Kagaya ng ginawa ni Jesus. Jesus is very kind to all people, lalo-lalo na sa nangangailangan. Sa mga mahihirap, sa mga may sakit, sa mga may um, karamdaman, yung mga walang makain. Di ba nagpagaling si Jesus ng bulag, lumpo, um, may ketong, at nagpatawad ng mga kasalanan. Si Jesus, never na never siyang nagjudge ng ibang tao. Kahit na alam ni Jesus na nagkasala ang taong iyon, mas nangibabaw kay Jesus ang pagmamahal at pagpapatawad. Dahil yun ang gustong iparating ng Diyos para sa atin, na tayo ay mahal niya at handa tayong patawarin sa ating mga kasalanan. So like Jesus, we must be kind to others. Number two, Jesus teaches us to read the Bible and pray. Very good. Si Jesus nung bata pa siya, napakasipag niyang magbasa ng mga scriptures. Yung Bible dati, children, hindi pa siya kagaya nung Bible natin ngayon na merong cover. Yung mga Bible pa dati is yung scroll pa na tinatawag na isa-isang page tapos bubuklatin mo na ganun. Ganun yung binabasa ni Jesus nung bata pa siya. And hindi din niya nakalimutan ni Jesus na laging mag-pray kanino? Kay God. Yun ang isa sa pinaka-importante na tinuturo sa atin ni Jesus, ang makipag-usap sa Diyos. Mag-pray tayo para sa sarili natin, para sa ibang tao. At mag-pray tayo para mas lumalim yung ating relasyon sa Panginoon. At syempre, mas lalalim ito kung babasahin din natin ang kanyang mga salita sa Biblia. Sino sa inyo ang merong Bible? Taas nga ang kamay. Yun. Sana may Bible tayong lahat, children. At binabasa natin yung Bible natin. Hindi lang natin nilalagay sa kung saan or dun lang sa table. Nandun lang siya at naaalikabukan. Lalo na ngayon na pinagdiriwang natin ang Bible Month Celebration. di ba? Kailangan buhayin natin yung kagustuhan natin na matuto ng salita ng Diyos. At mas makilala pa natin. Si Jesus, lalo-lalo na, na si Jesus yung best example natin. Kailangan malaman natin ano pa yung mga ginawa ni Jesus nung siya ay nandito pa sa lupa. Kaya, matuto tayo manalangin at magbasa ng Bible kagaya ng ginawa ni Jesus. Pangatlo, Jesus teaches us to be a good leader. Kapag ikaw ay leader, children, ikaw ay sinusundan ng ibang mga tao. Kung ano yung sinasabi mo at kung ano yung gusto mong gawin, ay yun ang susundin din ng mga tao sumusun sa'yo o yung tinatawag na follower. 
si Jesus Children ay meron siyang labik dalawang mga disciples. Alam ko, familiar na kayo dun sa mga disciples ni Jesus. At yung labing dalawa na ito na disciples ni Jesus ay sumusunod kay Jesus kung saan man siya magpunta. At sila ang nakakita ng mga ginawang miracles ni Jesus. Sila ang nakawitness ng mga pagpapagaling at pagtuturo ni Jesus. Kaya lahat ng mga ginawa ni Jesus, nakita ng mga disciples, kaya nung nawala na, ang, uh, nawala na si Jesus dito sa earth, uh, umakit na siya sa heaven, nakit, yung nakita ng mga alagad, yun ang ginawa nila dito sa lupa. Sila ang nagpatuloy ng nasimulan ni Jesus. Kagaya ng memory verse natin ngayon, di ba nakalagay doon? Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize, teach, and command them to obey everything na itunur, itinuro ni Jesus sa kanila. So, from uh, Jesus, the ginawang disciples, yung 12, yung 12 gagawa din sila ng kanilang disciples pa. Hanggang sa nakarating sa atin ang pagtuturo na ginawa ng mga disciples ni Jesus. Ganoon kaimportante ang isang leader. Kaya kung ikaw ay isang leader, gagayahin natin ang leadership ni Jesus. Sana meron din tayong 12 pa na maaakay papunta kay Jesus, makakilala kay Jesus. Maging friend din nila si Jesus. Okay ba yun? Isipin nyo na sa mga kaibigan nyo, sino yung mga gusto nyong akayin at isama or pagkwentuhan ng anything tungkol kay Jesus. Diba? Isipin na natin yun. At maging disciples tayo ni Jesus. Sana ina-enjoy natin mga bata ang kwento natin sa araw na ito. At ito ang iiwanan ko sa inyo. Basahin nga natin ng sabay-sabay. Jesus is our best teacher. We should follow Him. Sundin natin at sundan ang mga naunang ginawa ni Jesus. Patuloy tayo magpalalim sa salita ng Diyos at sa relasyon natin sa Kanya sa mamagitan ng pananalangin at pagbabasa ng Biblia. Hanggang sa muli mga bata, paalam sa inyo.
Sige mga bata, tayo ay pumikit at tayo ay manalangin. Amin na Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Pinupuri ka namin at pinapasalamatan Panginoon sa araw na ito. Salamat Panginoon sa lahat ng biyaya na ipinagkakalob niyo po sa amin. Salamat din Panginoon sa mensahe na amin narinig sa araw na ito. At dalangin ko Panginoon para sa mga batang ito na sila ay lumaki ng naayon sa iyong mga salita. Lumaki ng may takot sa iyo, ng may karunungan Panginoon at nasa tamang kalusugan Panginoon. Dalangin ko, O oh Diyos, na patuloy na lumakad sila, Panginoon, sa iyong liwanag at makita ka nila bilang isang mabuti at napakagandang ehemplo, Panginoon, napakagandang example, Panginoon, na susundan ng mga batang ito. Dalangin ko, O oh Diyos, na patuloy niyo pong pagpalain ang kanilang mga pamilya at kayo ang siyang maitaas sa buhay namin, sa buhay ng mga batang ito. Muli, Panginoon, sa iyo po namin itinataas ang lahat ng ito sa dakilang pangalan ni Jesus na aming Panginoon na tagapaglitas. Amen.